Hello again, whiskey friends. Thanks for joining me today. So I wanted to talk about light whiskeys. Now, light whiskeys in this context does not mean diet whiskeys. This has nothing to do with the calories. But if you aren't familiar with this, let's get into it, break it down. I wanted to talk about this bottle before I managed to share it away and kill it too. So thanks for joining me, everyone. Let's kick off the show. that i'm gonna let this one sit out for a little bit too later cheers to the mash and journey whiskey club today we use this glen for the tasting so for those not familiar light whiskey what does that mean so first off you're looking at a mash bill that's predominantly corn probably 99 percent corn when we're talking about this mgp light whiskey and corn whiskey isn't a very attractive phrase so they coined the phrase light whiskey now, what it's happening is it's actually entering the barrel at a higher proof point than what they allow with bourbon. So that's why I can't, you know, it's not in the bourbon range, it's something else. But these have been so good, kind of a little bit of a secret, I feel like, up to this point. And because no one was buying them for so long, there was a heavy stock of really old light whiskeys around, you know, 12 years, 13 years, 15 years, 16 years. But it all got gobbled up. So we're probably in the like the last you know six months to a year of doing this that you can probably still get some of these old barrels and old bottles. So the point of this is also to say, get them while you can because they're not going to be around too much longer. We might have to wait for stocks to to age up again because people bought a lot of it once it started getting uh, getting popular. Now the one that I'm going to be tasting here is an Optanium. A lot of the light whiskeys have the Optanium logo zoom into this one too and we'll talk about this one here soon too but Optanium really has been pushing the light whiskey this particular one came from a recent trip to California uh, from a store called Plump Jack and they finished it in cab barrels these light whiskeys you'll find a lot are finished and it's because the whiskey itself can really take on the extra flavor just due to that mash bill and that corn sweetness, you know, it really just lends itself well to being more dynamic and getting those extra flavors from the finishing barrel. But I'm going to dive into this one and then we'll talk a bit more about light whiskeys too. So in general, on the nose, I mean, these do come across just so sweet. Uh, this particular one is about 140 proof. So 70% ABV. But the nose, I mean... Let me bury my schnoz in there. Even though it's that high proof, you know, there's not a whole lot of ethanol coming off of this thing. It is just pure sweetness, some candy corn sweetness. Mm, nice cornbread, buttery there. And then the cab that, you know, gives this one a little layer of spice and fruits to it, too. Yeah, the fruits kind of come off like a raspberry, even a little grapey, but more more of the raspberry side of things all right i'm gonna go in for a sip cheers everybody mm. Mm -hmm. oh man oh there's so much oak influence on this one i mean look at that color oh that was just like a oh that was just covered in chocolate i mean it's just delicious stuff and immediately up front, it is just a sweet, sweet bomb. Sweet, sweet dessert. Mm. What I loved about this one in particular, mm. that finish, was I think because of the finishing in the cab barrels. Man, did they get a good job on this one. I really wish I would have bought a couple more before I came back to Ohio. But this particular one was aged 13 years, and they had a couple different options there. This one caught my eye because it was only out of 147 bottles, whereas the other ones they had were out of 200. So I was like, ooh, 
short barrel on top of this. Let's go. But this one, I mean, this one impressed me so much. I mean, I think it was down here before it made its way back to Ohio, too. So these light whiskeys, the ones you want to keep an eye out for, are the Optanium. They come in these wine bottles or in these short bottles here. Other brands that have them will be Bull Run. And a lot of people use them as blending agents. So you'll see things like Backbone Bourbon using them in the forge here as a blending agent to really proof things up. You know, it can add some depth to your uh, blends when you do that. Old Carter American Whiskey, I think, is really what raised the bar on these light whiskeys in general. A lot of times when you see American Whiskey, it actually might be because they're blending it with light whiskey. But Old Carter definitely raised the game, and I think that's what kind of exploded the market. And then, you know, everyone gobbled up all the barrels they could. So we're going to have to wait a little bit for it to get this old again. You know, once these are gone, they're gone. And they're drying up quick. So I recommend, if you haven't tried these, to get into them soon. Mm. Oh, man. Yeah, man, this is just like a, a lovely candy bar. Oh. Yeah, keep an eye out for ones that have been finished, too. One of my favorite ones. Yeah, this was Cab Barrels. You know, this was Cab, too. This is a really cool one out of NASA with this cool sticker here. Mars Attacks. I love this. I got a backup of this one. But I've been I've been buying these. I got about a handful down there just to kind of keep keep bunkered because just like the you know the Knob Creeks, when those 14, 15 year picks went, they didn't come back. And I have a feeling the same thing's gonna happen here. But the one thing that did give me hope about the category was this pick from Turds and Nerds coming out of the uh, the Bourbon Wrench and whiskeychannel.com. But this one was a six year almost seven year light whiskey that was actually aged in Jack Daniel barrels. It was really good. My brother-in-law ended up wanting one of these too. And he's never had light whiskey before, but he was like, can you get me that? So even to him, it was very inviting and something to something that, you know, really caught his taste buds for, you know, something that he wanted on his own shelf. So I did give him one of my backups. Yeah. So just a parting thought on this one. Don't be afraid to try something new. You know, I know it's corn whiskey and that phrase is, you know, kind of throws people off. But it is it is worth it, especially when the prices are where they are. You know, I think you can get these 13, 14, 15 years for 80 bucks, 100 bucks. Um, Kings County is another one. Or not Kings County. Kings... Um, over there at uh, Pigeon Forge. But they're another one that sells a good 15 year. Go check these out, though. Hopefully this uh, inspires you to check out light whiskeys. Because they're worth it. They're really good. All right. I'll leave it at that. Bye, whiskey friends. Thanks for joining.